What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the James Drake Show. Today, I'm going to have part two. Part two of the accent tag. Um, in the first video, I explained to you about the Gullah Geechee culture that's synonymous in low country South Carolina, especially the Charleston and the Beaufort areas. But I went over how that extends to Hampton County, Coddington County, Jasper County, and other places in the low country. So today, I have nine more phrases that we use that shows our... Uh, Gullah Geechee uh, ancestry per se, okay? Alright, so first one we have is Skeeter. Hey, the boy, them Skeeters tell you up, ain't it? But don't go outside. I'm like, hey, there's a lot of Skeeters out there, man. It rained yesterday. There's a lot of Skeeters out there. Be careful, alright? So, Skeeters is short. Or the way some people pronounce mosquitoes when we're being informal. So, if you get a Skeeter, just know they're talking about mosquitoes, okay? The next one is, you know? Hey, that boy, John John, boy. He. He got shot at the club last night. You, you know? Hey, man, listen. I don't, don't mess with Shorty, man. She on fire. You know? She out there. You know? So, you know it's short for you ain't. It means you don't know, basically. All right? Number three is Buckra. <clears throat> I did some research on the word Buckra um, to see if it was meant to be derogatory or not. I didn't see. I didn't. Uh, I didn't see anything that. Made it seem that it was used to be derogatory, but buckra was a word that um, Gullah people used to call. It stood for the white man, basically. So, um, well, that that, that buckra, the, the, the buckra said, "Don't go downtown after nine. You get, you, all right now. The buckers will take you out there to jail. Don't go, don't, don't go downtown. The buckra not playing. I said, me no buckra down there. So, I'm not sure if it's meant to be derogatory or not, but I do know it's a term that's not really used today, but it did mean the white man. Uh, you know." And not so distant past. Okay? Number four is Tay Up. Hey, boy, them skis tee them up. Boy, them boys play Buford. They lost about 30, boy. Buford tee them up. Tay means tear. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the way we pronounce our words in Hannah County. Part of the Gullah, the Gullah dialect, I guess you could say. All right? Number five. Number five, we have Gal. Hey, boy, that Gal. Fine, ain't it? I see you running after them gals. You smelling up that tree. But leave them gals alone. So, gal is how a lot of uh, the older people in our area pronounce girl. You still hear it somewhat in my generation, but it's it's kind of, to a certain extent, dying out, which most of the dialect and gullah words are, but gal is still, you, you, you'll hear that if you come around here long enough. Uh, the run. Hey, man, what you doing today? I ain't no boy. I think, I think I'm about to walk the run. You, you want to walk the run with me? Yeah, I'm going out of soccer and walk that run down there, okay? So... If you hear the run, that's talking about like uh, the, the swamp or the river. So, you know, the low country, we're low. So we have a lot of um, the little salt, the Coosahatchee, the Sockahatchee, the, the Yamasi. We have a lot of little streams or rivers that runs, runs through our area. So people call it the run because it runs through the area. Okay. Um, next is bussing. Hey, there, boy. That chicken bussing, boy. Your mama can cook. I think bussing, you know what I mean? It bussing, you know? You know she could like that, ain't it? Boy, it bussing now. Bussing means good. Like, if you hear somebody say, that's bussing, you know somebody gonna put their foot in it. You know, I'm a big boy, so I like it when it's bussing. <laughs> All right, number eight. So number eight is not really a word, but it's just something I wanted to go over. So we cook out a lot, but understand in low country in our culture, cook out and barbecue are two different things. Barbecue means like you put stuff on the grill, most likely it's pork, but it can be other things. But if you hear barbecue, it's, it's really just talking about grilling, basically. Now, if you hear cookout, cookout can be hot dogs, hamburgers, a crab, a crab a boil, your low country broil, whatever. Cookout is multiple different types of food. So you can barbecue at a cookout, but a barbecue is not a cookout, if that makes sense. So I just had to go over that, okay? And the last one we have is ain't right. Boy, you know that boy James, he ain't right. I'm trying to tell you now. So, if you hear ain't right, that means somebody's like mentally challenged, y'all. Ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what else you can say beyond that. So, hey, man, thank y'all for watching part two of this video. I appreciate all the comments and feedback we got on part one. Let me know what you think about this one below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Jay. Signing out. James J Show, y'all. Peace. Even if it's